Hey, remember when we got that evil nightmare fuel Groudon with tentacles? Yeah, what the heck was up with that? The Pokemon movie, Jirachi Wishmaker, which came with a free card, follows our heroes as they meet the legendary Pokemon, Jirachi, which has the power to grant wishes. The villain is some scientist named Butler who performs as a traveling magician and captures Jirachi and uses the power of its third eye to revive Groudon for Team Magma, but instead creates a manifestation of pure evil that terrorizes the Pokemon of Fioria. Trust me, Pokemon movies always get this weird. Man said, forget waking up Groudon, I'ma make my own. Honestly, this does kind of make sense. Like, fossil restoration has been a thing in Pokemon for years. Even modifying the clone to be more powerful, adapting it from the smallest fossil was possible back with Mewtwo. So what went wrong with Groudon? I mean, for one thing, it seems like this magical powered science fiction machine is using the Groudon fossil as the blueprint to then craft a new Groudon from the Forbidden Runes, rather than full-on cloning or whatever it is the fossil restoration labs do. The actual reason given for Groudon's grotesque appearance in the movie is that it's the result of Butler's selfishness corrupting Jirachi's power. And okay, fine, I buy it. I'm sure you could also say that it was specifically Butler's bad aura that led to the evil Groudon, or that the Groudon itself was a manifestation of dark aura, mostly because you could hypothetically tie aura into every supernatural occurrence in the Pokemon universe, because they already do that nowadays, so we could work retroactively. Either way, it's a giant evil Groudon. Butler just had to go with the only Pokemon that's asleep for a thousand years, but is also susceptible to being corrupted by greed. He should have just gone to GameStop. I guess this would have ideally worked out if the man had just calmed the heck down. But then again, if it were possible at all to properly create any legendary Pokemon from a fossil like this, it probably would have been done even more. But Team Magma found their own Groudon, and that kinda worked out. But the point is, this thing is terrifying. It of course goes berserk, and I don't even think it could be considered a Pokemon. This thing mutates beyond just a regular Groudon, and its spikes and fingers become these jelly tentacles that just warp onto any Pokemon or person it can reach. Like, for the most part, this movie is your basic happy Pokemon movie, but then the last third just becomes a kaiju movie with the most disgusting monster. I'm even sure this thing is bigger than what Groudon is supposed to be, which makes it even more terrifying as nothing can stop it. The eyes and mouth just add to the creepy and gooey look. And like I said earlier, other Pokemon movies can get weird, especially with their climax, but I feel like the giant embodiment of evil that sucks up everything in sight and literally drains the life from the land takes the cake. Generally, Pokemon doesn't even really touch on concepts of evil. Like, I'm pretty sure in the series of the anime, they've said there are no bad Pokemon, just bad trainers. But then for the antagonist of this movie to basically become an embodiment of evil in the form of a Pokemon, like we said, not technically a Pokemon, is just really odd. Again, though, I guess you could say this is uh, the manifestation of human evil. But of course, the evil Groudon is punished for its crimes against nature with the craziest death in any Pokemon movie. After weakening it to a literal pulp, Jirachi Doom desires this thing straight into the air and blows it up. Again, this apparently isn't an actual Pokemon, so it's okay if it dies. Real Groudon could just be calmed down by Rayquaza stepping in since he's got some common sense left. But evil Groudon is beyond saving. Let's just be glad we won't be seeing this anytime too soon. Hey, this is Gatorix, and so let me know what you think. Have you ever seen the Jirachi Wishmaker movie? If so, uh, do you remember the Groudon? Well, I mean, how could you not remember it? It, it was like a huge part of the movie, literally. And again, you know, the, the whole climax. Uh, again, you know, I just thought it was a weird thing that I wanted to discuss, and honestly really freaked me out when I was younger, and still kind of does, because, uh, you know, relatively a lot of the Pokemon movies end up getting dark near the end, and uh, it was just kind of shocking to remember that this was a thing in a Pokemon movie. Uh, but anyway, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like, subscribe. You can enable notifications by clicking that bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will make sure you see each new video as it comes out, and we'll make you a member of the Changling Squad. Anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.